Hi, I'm Dr. Arvind Poswal from Dr. A's Clinic, Delhi, India. And today we will be talking about gene therapy for hair loss. So I'm happy to share the progress of one of our patients. He is a young patient. He lost uh, his hair quite uh, young, around 20, 22 years of age. And we did a transplant for him. But that is a separate issue. We'll be posting the results. The crown area, we could not cover the entire crown area in his first session and there was ongoing hair loss in that area. So I advised him to start with gene therapy for hair loss. And we are happy to say that uh, there is a tremendous amount of strengthening of his pre-existing hair. If you see in the picture, the hair have thickened and visually they give the appearance as if he does not require a hair transplant in his remaining crown area. I feel this is a tremendous breakthrough because in this patient we were not using any finasteride, no minoxidil, just improving their epigenome, improving their lifestyle, giving them healthy supplements and doing regular microneedling and application of resveratrol grapeseed serum and in the past two months we started with the fisetin lotion also so i want to share this uh, news with all of you because if you are losing hair there is no harm at all now you have to understand that uh, science has progressed to a level where we understand how your lifestyle how your blood's composition is responsible for what your stem cells do now hair roots have stem cells they are one of the fastest multiplying stem cells that's why you have to cut your hair every couple of weeks and these stem cells naturally use the freshest nutrition you provide them anything you apply on your skin anything you eat you drink the air you breathe and all the hormones made in your body ultimately they are reaching your bloodstream and from the bloodstream they are reaching your stem cells all over your body the hair is a very obvious place to look for its effects so you can see that whenever you have any disturbance even emotional disturbance or a dietary change or a major illness Situations like chemotherapy, radiotherapy, COVID infection, recovery from any severe infection, even after childbirth. In all these conditions, when the stem cells are under stress, then they slow down or stop multiplying. If they slow down their multiplication, you notice thinner hair, slow growing hair. And if you introduce those nutrients back into the body we have seen the patients get better hair their feedback is that the hair has become stronger it does not fall off so easily they don't see that much hair in their comb or in their hairbrush and this is what i am encouraging all of you to do forget that mindset where you think that the doctor will give you a tablet and then your responsibility is over you cannot expect just tablets to cure you. Hair loss is not an infectious disease. It is not a malaria or something. You are seeing nowadays people are getting hair loss at a younger and younger age. This research has proved that resveratrol can help your hair roots, can help the stem cells. It acts as an antioxidant and protects the cells from any oxidative stress so why will you not do it similarly fisetin it says clearly that it will increase the TERT expression in the genes in your hair follicles so understand TERT or telomerase reverse transcriptase is one of the first genes which one of the first patients that is Elizabeth Parrish 
she is a lady patient from usa not our patient but she is the among the first ones who got radical gene therapy done and increased her trt level throughout her body what it did was it improved her hair growth also you see her ted podcast or you see her youtube video she shares it and she is not into the business of uh, trying to grow hair for people what it shows is that if you improve the telomerase reverse transcriptase level then your stem cells again become healthy and they start multiplying because the telomeres which were very short earlier have become longer again and if you can do this by improving your lifestyle on the one hand and doing regular micro needling and applying resveratrol grape seed serum and fisetin lotion fisetin lotion is a new addition to our uh, armamentarium read about these things Why do you want to lose your hair and then go for a transplant? Wouldn't it be nice if you could save the maximum hair? If I were in your place, I would like to strengthen whatever hair I have left. And what hair I cannot get by strengthening, those I would definitely go for a transplant. But it couldn't can't be the other way wrong na? that you keep on spoiling your lifestyle. and then hoping that you will get more and more hair only because you are taking a tablet of finasteride not bothering about how you live your life if you are eating coke burger staying up at late at night not giving yourself enough sleep taking all the wrong oils all the wrong food stuff stressing yourself out then don't expect good hair growth now contrast this with another person who does regular breathing exercises meditation goes to sleep at proper time who takes a healthy homemade diet who avoids all these junk food and think for yourself who will lose hair first definitely the person who is following a bad lifestyle so i have shared this picture before also a close up here you can see strong hair are growing in the area where the person or patient had lost a lot of hair similarly in lady patients when we do this it's very helpful i find this a really good uh, treatment modality because not only is it non surgical it is also a treatment which you can carry out at home yourself you use the derma roller or a derma pen or a derma stamp to make your skin more absorbent so that anything which you apply on the skin thereafter will be rapidly absorbed which will go inside reach the level of the stem cells and keep them healthy i'm not uh, expanding further how it can improve your skin health also because that is not the topic of uh, today's discussion but see it's amazing results on your hair and i cannot uh, honestly say that okay you keep a wrong lifestyle and you still will have good hair growth just because i am giving you a tablet which may or may not have side effects so my earnest plea for all patients is read about these research use them in your life i have seen lots of patients now and i have received the feedbacks of innumerable patients when they come back to me and they say yes we could not be regular with our supplements we could not be regular with our food habits and uh, lifestyle and we noticed a lot of hair fall again and the moment we started a good lifestyle and all the good habits having a healthy epigenome then our hair have become stronger and the hair fall has reduced remember this is specially important for a few category of patients like young patients people losing hair at a young age when we say that hair loss is genetic then those patients come to me and say that my father lost his hair at 35 or 41 why am i losing at 20 you are losing at 20 because you have spoiled your epigenome 
whether knowingly or unknowingly. So improve your epigenome so that you can avoid harmful medicines, you can keep a healthy hair growth and delay baldness as much as possible. Once it goes then of course we will be helping. Some special category of people who can benefit from this is apart from people losing hair at young age is people who are recovering from severe infections and have noticed a lot of hair fall. People who have undergone chemotherapy or radiotherapy. If you are a lady and if you have given birth to a child then you may notice a lot of hair fall then you can do this because micro needling does not have side effects most of the supplements are very healthy you can ask your treating physician and then under his guidance you can start these supplements similarly if you are recovering from a severe dieting and you have lost hair because of that or in overall if your lifestyle is bad you keep on traveling non-stop eating in hotels eating very unhealthy meals then also if you focus on four or five things as i have outlined in my hair care process and remember to devote only five minutes a week to micro needling and just half a minute every night to putting the serum on your head you could be saving your hair if you have any questions if you do not have access to these medicines you can contact us we will help you if you want your doctor to know about this again do share this information with them if you have friends or relatives who are losing hair this is what you should be sharing them with them this is the resolution you have to make for our new year that you will maintain you will keep your hair healthy and if you have any questions like i said before feel free to contact me by whatsapp or by email and do like this video and share it and subscribe to our channel thank you